Hey everyone, it's DKGM, and welcome back to Pokemon White 2. In the last episode, we finally made it into the Castelia sewers to take down some more Team Plasma. We also saw a mysterious figure, but we don't know about him yet. This time, we're going to be fighting a uh, bird, the gym leader. So let's just get started. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that I got everyone up to 22 and Magnemite's 23. Magnemite also learned Spark which is a move that is way stronger than Thundershock, and that's about it. So, yeah, just wanted to tell you that. And, uh, we can finally fight Berg. All the way over here. I should've, I should've got on my bike. His gym is drastically different from uh, black and white one where you go through honey. This is way different. Hello, you're probably tired from wandering all over the crowded streets to Castelia City, looking for Team Plasma and the gym leader. So here, I'll give you this. Got another fresh water. That could help us out. The theme of this gym is no other is none other than cocoons. You head upward by going inside the cocoons and traveling up the threads. The threads are definitely connected to Berg. Eventually. This music though, it's amazing. It's you get sucked in, then you get thrown everywhere. Let's go this way. Oh. You just get set back down. What do you think? This Pokemon Gym, how should I say, isn't it full of outrageous and mysterious charms? It is, definitely. And the music, top notch. I love the music. Got a Sawaddle. I don't really know how I'm gonna handle this gym. I don't really have any Pokemon that can do super well against anyone. I really just have... Yeah, because... <laughs> Most Pokemon are part grass type, and that's kind of bad for Dewi. Magnemite, I guess, resists everything, but Prettier is kind of in the middle ish. So it shouldn't be that hard. You should have Razor Leaf. I don't know why you're using Bug Bite, but okay. Yes, maybe not. There we go. Uh, don't I have to open it or something? Yes, and there's a guy in there. When a cocoon breaks open, the one that pops out is Moi. On that note, I have a vowel, Moi. Wonder if his name is Moi. Probably isn't. His name's Jack. He's got a comb beat. You don't see that every day. I think I can use Razor, Razor Shell on it. Yeah. Whoa. It is dead. Swaloon. That might just kill me. Oh, jeez. It's fresh water time. I don't know if I can just tackle it all the time. I don't know. I don't know if I can tank another one, but I'm hoping I can. I'll definitely not have to use this bug bite. Oh well. Yep, I'm dead. And it was a useless critical hit. Turn to your time. There we go. That's right, I was taking a nap inside the cocoon. That's odd. I think it makes me feel battle in, in sync stole, you know.
Oh. go on this side you thought you could get through here think again or so you thought I'm just blocking your way oh Quinn Gary meow Take down it. Take, take, take it down. Or you can just avoid it, you know. Whatever works, I guess. Nice. Oh, he's got a level too. I kinda have to use bite, cause anything else is just do nothing. Oh, speed. That's not good. Oh. Nice. My, my, aren't you a bit too strong? No. Nah. Alright, so this must take us another way then, right? Yes, it does. I go this way. Oh. Oh, and that's it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go heal and then we'll fight over. Okay, so it turns out we can just go back to the way we came from. So that's nice. Good work back there in the sewers. My bug type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle with you. I have to say my bug type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on, let's let's let me brag a little. Dwebble's round eyes are cute. It's resilient and reliable. My ace is Levani. It's really the best. I think it's so sweet how it makes clothes for other Pokemon out of leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all of my Pokemon. Well now, let's get right to it. Bird. Making an entrance. First Pokemon is Swadloon. Yes, I have Duat in the front. He's really not going to do anything else to note, so might as well keep him in front. Yep. Waddle's really not going to do a lot in this battle. I wonder if Razor Shell will do more because of Stab. Well, maybe not because I might die. Okay. Uh, well, it lowered the defense, so I think I could do it again. That's going to be fine. Hey, and I'm still alive. Oh, I won't go first, will I? 
okay. Uh, I guess that's fine, I guess. Actually, there's a lot. I'm not gonna go first. Nope, okay. That's fine. Use this critical hit, too. Uh, I'll do her here. I also gotta be careful, because I didn't buy anything, so... That could be bad. Let's just throw a takedown on him. Yeah. Because if he was gonna live, I just would've put a, a work up on him. Webbles next. Okay. I'll set up a work up. And then we'll bite him. Smackdown. Odds not really matter. Let's see how much bite does now. Wow. Think about how much it would have done if I didn't need to work up. Rock polish. Not very necessary, but that's alright. No smackdown. Alright, now it's dead. There we go, level 24. He wants to learn crunch. Ooh. It's just a better bite, really. Because it's got 80 power. 80 power over 60 is always best. And it's still 100 accuracy. I'm gonna switch into Magnemite just so we can get a little bit of XP. Yeah. Actually, oh, I'm dumb because I could have used Duot for level. Mm, I got a bad feeling about this. Could I be in trouble? Possibly. Really, this entire time with Magnemite, I'll just have to use uh, Sonic Boom because Grass resists electric. And doesn't seem like Razor Leaf will do much. And I think I can take another hit, maybe. Oh, it's got a Citrus Berry. It's really annoying. Uh, I think I can take it, right? Ooh, yes. Struggle bug. Uh, I guess. Oh, that was a crit. I was gonna play well. Kind of good, Not really. So Sonic Boom doesn't matter. I think I can win it with Magnemite. Pretty confident. Let's see. Can I take it? Ooh, nice. Levani is down. That's a lot of XP. One entire level. Hmm, it's over. You're incredible. I know. Oh, you're very strong indeed. I guess it's no surprise I lost. Here, take this insect bat. I think it'll suit you. And there we go. Got the insect badge. Oh, the insect badge suits you even better than I thought it would. If you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you, including trainer Pokemon. And, uh, you know what? I'll also give you this. We got TM76 Struggle Bug. It's a pretty good bug type move. I think we could use it for some coverage. Struggle Bug also lowers the special attack of the target that was damaged. I'm the best guy to tell you this. It's the little things that count. True. And now we make it back down. I don't think anything else happens after you beat him. You can just kind of move on. Oh, we'll see. We are, of course, going to heal up first. And oh boy, it's our favorite. Love seeing this guy. Alright, what's our medals? The Pokemon Center fan. Star Cycling. And another one. New Face Hero. And five hint medals. Uh, I think something happens when you go to Southern. Or, I guess it'd be Northern. Gastelia City. Right? Am I right or am I wrong? Ah, yeah, it's, it's that guy. Oh, it's you again. If, if, if it's not an inconvenience, may I have a look at your Pokemon? Sure, I appreciate your cooperation. Oh, how interesting. 
Your duo seems to display more self-confidence than others of the same species, and you're a trainer with merely three badges. Fantastic! I'm not sure how you're doing it, but you're bringing out the power of your Pokémon. Oh, excuse me, I'm a scientist. My name is Colress. And the theme of my research is bringing out the power of Pokémon. Bringing out the power of Pokémon. Is it possible for their maximum power through the bond that they share with their trainers? Or is it the same other different method? I'd like to test my theory by battling with you. Do you find this acceptable? Sure. Either way, I'll be waiting on Route 4. It's just beyond here. And I hate to tell you, but we're doing that on the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and you know the drill. But I'll see you guys in the next episode.